it's the summer holidays, guys. I am just gonna lay back. There's no more news to cover. I can just chill out on the beach with a cup of lemonade and... Oh, oh no, but also yes, because it's amazing. <laughs> Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. This is a funny one because I was just about to head out on my summer holiday But I was thinking, you know, I'm just gonna do a couple of unboxing videos. Just keep it casual and then boom There are three new Halo Mega Construct sets and the Jazzware set. We're gonna cover the Jazzware set tomorrow But today we're having a look at this Mega Constructs. Oh my goodness three sets one of them I, c I barely have words for. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, so welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in today. We do all of the Halo news. I am the Halo news guy. And if you enjoyed today's video, please do make sure to give it a like. And also subscribe with the bell on if you do feel like that. Feel, do you, if you feel so inclined. And yeah, we're gonna go over some more Halo news. Just more and more Halo news. I was saying this on my live stream this morning, actually. I'm just so hyped for the the potential of the toy line this year. In both Jazzware and Mega Constructs. I mean, if you think about it, Halo Infinite has the potential to be the next big game. AAA, Fortnite, whatever you want to call it. Especially with free-to-play multiplayer. So just imagine how much the toy companies can just accelerate like Jazzware has been going nuts and we'll get on to that tomorrow but today we're looking at mega constructs and this video is also not going to be edited as smoothly as I usually do it's just going to be a bulk conversation piece because I'm going on holiday and I don't have time to edit but I really wanted to get my opinions out on these sets so usually I don't talk about leaks but these images did come from Mattel's website so an announcement is sure to come very soon we'll start with the one that you know got everyone's attention the most because it's bright purple we We've got a buildable covenant needler. A buildable needler. I could not be more hyped. I did a video about six months ago speculating on the next buildable set. I am in love with my energy sword and the way that the light blue and dark blues just crackle through it is so unique. I don't think we're gonna get exactly the same thing with this needler, but there are definitely some translucent pieces. Of course, the needles and then a few pieces at the front. I've sort of upscaled this image using this AI program online because the image was very low quality, but when it first came out, it looked a little fake. I'm, yeah, obviously it's not at this point, and you can see loads of different angles of this needler across the box. I wonder what the price point's gonna be. It looks like it might be 900 pieces, which is actually very hefty. At first glance, it looks a little 2D, a little flat, but when you actually look closer, it is pretty well fleshed out. I mean, you can only see one side, so it has that sort of trickery of the mind thinking it is flat, but the same is on the other side. You know, it puffs out on both sides, and although, yes, it is a flat image, I can definitely feel myself holding this in my hand. I actually never got hold of the boom cone needler myself. I always wanted to, but this thing... Man, it's great. I'm also pretty happy that they're just keeping on with the Covenant weapons for now, or now the Banished weapons. The Energy Sword, I mean, just, just look at this thing. It is absolutely magnificent, like absolutely gorgeous. With that glossy Halo Infinite logo, pride of place in my collection. And it also looks great in the house, like it's a good conversation piece. And it's also nice for other family members in the house, like usually a lot of the toys, they don't translate well, especially to my girlfriend, but the Energy Sword just looks beautiful on display. So I'm happy Happy to get another needler, happy to build and display something else like that in my house. There isn't that much more to say about it. The design does look excellent. It looks quite a bit smaller than the energy sword, but it might trick us a little bit. I mean, it's a scaled down image and you definitely have to fit your hand in it. So I imagine this will actually be quite large when it releases. This is only the tip of the iceberg today though, friends. I mean, you can tell how excited I am about this. This is insane. We're gonna ramp up the pressure to the next set. This is another hell Helmet. And I'm always all about these helmets. There isn't an actual description of this helmet on the website, but we can see it again. Sorry, these images are blurry, but you can see two Spartans and what appears to be some kind of gate. Now, the funny thing about the escape helmet, when we first saw that, we were speculating what the little light dome was. Turned out it was the AI. I mean, that was just being shown by Mega Constructs like a month before it was actually revealed in Halo Infinite. So we had the AI there. I don't know what this is, though. When I 
I first saw it, I thought maybe a drop wall, but then you can see there's kind of like what looks like some kind of weapons on the ground. There's definitely so three like weird things. They're all kind of the same color, gray with green highlights, but there are three of them on the floor. I also kind of feel it looks like a weapons rack, but it's weird how there's two of them. The one on the right looks like it's locked down on the base plate. The one on the left looks like it's got its own little green base. It also kind of looks like a flag, but we already have a catch of the flag set. I also really respect what Mega Constructs is doing with these helmets. They're releasing like one every couple of months, and it means they can restart the whole wave or at least three of them in shelves every time. What's funny about these sets is they are listed on the Mattel website as the Skull Control, Last Man Standing, and Capture the Flag sets, but one of them is clearly not Skull Control, so I think it's just an old description. I'm a big fan of these helmets going forward, and I want them to really continue with the multiplayer-inspired helmets. One of my friends also pointed out this is one of the first times in years that we've got a purple plasma rifle that is actually the same color as the carbine. I didn't realize that, but that's that's still cool. The two Spartans, you just can't tell. I think the orange one is a Mark 7, but then the white one, it could be a new helmet. It kind of looks like, almost like a grunt's head, but I know it wouldn't be, but it kind of looks like a, a weird faceplate. We'll have to wait to see about that one, but all the news on these sets will come out on my YouTube channel whenever they drop. These two sets are awesome, but the next one, is crazy and I've sort of stayed away from talking about this for a while because it wasn't officially Mega Constructs revealing it but now I want to talk about it because it's on Mattel's website. The Gun Goose Gambit is a set that we've known we were getting our hands on for a while. It's the brand new small vehicle with a few figures like we've had the Recon Getaway Mongoose then the Hijack Ghost and now we've got the Gun Goose Gambit and the Gun Goose Gambit was the first time that the Gun Goose was announced in Halo Infinite and we now have a Jazzware version confirmed as well. First of all, we have this ODST. I think it's the same as the Marine Sniper and ODST Romeo. I have never, I, I have never seen so many new items, so many new accessories, figures, weapons in one set. This is nuts. I think it's more a rehash of old figures, but he's holding the commando rifle, boys. We got a Mega Constructs commando rifle. And ever since I saw that in the original reveal for the campaign, I have just been in love with it. I just want to use it so much. And now we've got a commando rifle. This set also seems to come with a shock rifle, carbine, and mangler. But the other figures, holy cow. We've got two, two new brutes. Two, like not even like, Two new brutes, and a brute miner and a brute captain. The captain in red, the miner in blue, they look beautifully pixelated. I know that it's a terribly poor quality image, but they still look amazing. And that jackal, we finally have a headpiece for our jackal, guys. We got a headpiece for that jackal. He looks pretty similar to the one from Jazzware World of Halo Series 1. Man, have you ever seen a cooler set? They come with gray base plates and the gun goose is like jet black, looks epic. Doesn't look that much of a different gun goose from the Noble Six gun goose we got a long time ago, but definitely updated with all the uh, Halo Infinite style aesthetics and also the swivel joint wheels. Guys, this, this set is literally crazy. Like those two brutes, a jackal. Man, I've never seen a better army building set. I always have said this. Like when the Recon Getaway came out, I said that's the best army builder ever. Then when the Hijack Ghost came out, I said the same thing. I'm saying it again. This one is outrageous. Outrageous. Guys, we are just about, like we're dipping our toes in the pool of the summer slash autumn winter collection for Mega Constructs and with Halo Infinite just around the corner, I think they're gonna ramp it up to 11, guys. Like we haven't seen that many releases yet or even teases. Yeah, we got the 20th anniversary pack and the Wasp and the Chopper, but they're kind of coming out now and I expect to see like an enormous wave coming out over summer slash just slightly after summer. We're probably gonna see that new skull very soon and the 20th anniversary pack, maybe even next month. This Gun Goose Gambit, and the new Needler. I would definitely say the Needler is going to be a later release, but only time will tell. But Mega Constructs, you're killing it with these figure packs, with buildable weapons. So happy to see them returning. And with another skull. Uh, yeah. 
This is fantastic. Bravo, Mega Constructs, bravo. This was another video, guys, with The Domain. I hope you enjoyed. It's not my regular edited kind of video, but I'm going on holiday, so I hope you'll excuse me. Tomorrow, we got a Jazzware video going over a brand new toy leak. That's me from The Domain. I hope you have a wonderful day out there. Stay awesome, stay safe. Let me know which set you're looking forward to in the comments down below. The Domain is signing off. Thank <laughs> you.